my Jimmy Choo Sando, cause I'm rich. Um, so what it, what inspired you to get into like, you know, the candle business and the skincare business? Um, I just wanted to like, I, I buy a lot of candles. Mm -hmm. So like, I was like, why not make my own candles? Like I spent so much money on candles and things like that. Why not make my own candles and share it with you guys, you know? But I'm at the point where I just want to do a lot of research and make my product like perfect, you know, at least close to perfect because you know everything ain't perfect, but just close to perfect so it can sell itself and people can actually enjoy it. And I want a special meaning behind it, you know, so it's not just a regular candle like everyone else, you know. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. So you have a pretty, you know, nice group of friends around you with Debbie Pants and Coco Pinchy. Mm -hmm. Um, How do you use them as motivation to keep doing what you're doing in your business and, and with your music career? Um, I love motivating my friends, like, you know, being behind them and things like that. I always tell them to, like, keep going. You know, I always, like, let them know that what they're doing is good because we always need someone to tell us that because we, I feel like a lot of the times we always feel like we can be doing better and we should be doing more. But at the same time, we never give ourselves credit for what we already doing, you know? Mm -hmm. So like, I always like to like motivate my friends, like no matter what they're doing, like you are doing your thing, like girl, keep doing your thing and just keep going. I also tell them like to make their own businesses and things like that. They all got their own businesses and stuff going on. So I like, always tell them like, you know, always try to help promote their businesses and things like that. So I'm just like a very, I don't know, motivational friend and supportive friend. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. I see your friend. She's supporting you right now. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. That's, that's, that's super dope. That's super dope. So like, why should people listen to this new single you're dropping on Christmas and why are you dropping it on Christmas? Um, it was either Christmas or New Year to me. Mm -hmm. Um, but my management felt like after they heard the song that it would be best to like get it out as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Um, but I feel like a lot of people can relate to this song. Like we all go through stuff in relationships. Like I see people going through like crazy situations in their relationship and I see myself also, you know, in the past going through that same thing. So it's like when you listen to my music, like it's like I want you to be able to relate to it, you know? So I feel like people, a lot of people can relate to the song. Um, how do you make sure like social media doesn't have a negative impact on your relationship? Um, I'm a very private person. Uh -huh. so I don't really like show my relationship uh -huh. side. And I think I'm gonna keep it that way. Uh -huh. But for right now I'm thinking and I feel like it's just best for me to just like stay focused on me doing my businesses and just like making sure that blows first before I start trying to find love again or working on the past or <laughs> yeah. So what is your take on like women who may look at social media, see social media relationships and might feel like their relationship should be something like that? Like I, I don't know if you probably suffer something like that. But I feel like we got to stop basing our relationships on other people's relationships and just love each other, like focus on loving each other and just being there for each other because you're always trying to be like somebody. Mm -hmm. Like, you trying mm -hmm. to be like somebody, it's like, you're not them. So it's mm -hmm. like, how are you going to be like somebody you don't, you know, you don't know what's really going on in the back end. You don't even know what they're showing you. So it's like, I feel like when it comes to love, you just got to like block out everything else and just focus on, you know, relationships and things like that and stop comparing our relationships with others, you know? But I also feel like it's a good thing that we get to see like other people's relationships and things like that because it kind of like, it sets the example of like what we need. Like if you see someone like just being like spoiled with love, like that's what you want to be spoiled with. And it's like, sometimes you got to show somebody that so that they can know how to love because Everybody is like, everybody grows up differently. Like they, like me, like I've always had like a two parent household. So it's like, I see the ups and downs in a relationship, like an actual marriage, you know? So it's like, I don't want that, you know? But I, I just want something like, it makes me not want to force a relationship. Cause I feel like sometimes people force marriages just because of kids and 
things like that. I just feel like you you gotta like understand where people coming from, like how their household was and what they grew up seeing. Like, you know, people don't, you know, people basically, they're affected by their past and mm-hmm. stuff. Like, so sometimes they bring their past into the relationship and then you gotta figure out, you know, why you acting this way. And you get to meet their people and stuff like that and you realize this is all they've seen their whole life. So it's like, they don't know how to love correctly. So sometimes you gotta show that person how to love correctly, like how to love you correctly. All right, I like that point.